Austin Reed, weeknights at 8, only on My TV 53 News. Call our 24 hour news hotline at 559 412 2825. My TV 53 News continues at 8.30. Good evening and welcome to My TV 53 News at 8.30. Thank you for joining us as we are digging deeper now. I'm Austin Reed. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Austin Reed On Air. Make sure you follow the My TV 53 YouTube page at My TV 53. Super excited for our first guest tonight. Joining us via Zoom is Frank Morganti III, and he is a fashion consultant, a.k.a. Haberdasher. Frank and I go way back. So first off, Frank, thank you for joining us. How you doing, bud? Doing well. Greetings from White Bear Lake, Minnesota. For those of you who don't know where it is, it's a suburb of Minneapolis, St. Paul. <laughs> So let's see, we are finally into the month of May. Has it warmed up there? It is. You know, uh, here in Minnesota, it was actually, we had a cool spring. We didn't get much of a spring so far. Uh, today, it was about 60 degrees with some wind. And it was a comfortable, what I would call comfortable warm. But there was what the breeze felt a little cooler than it should have. Tell everybody how we met. So we have known each other since uh, January of 2010 at KOB Television, the NBC affiliate in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it's amazing how 13 years ago seems like 1,300 years ago with the way the last two years have been. <laughs> it does. It does, right? Yeah, it's it's amazing. And we've managed to correspond and keep in touch all these years. And now uh, I've interviewed You've interviewed me on your other programs before, and now I'm on this one. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, and you know, generally in the 8.30 half hour, we have a lot of local guests, but mm -hmm. I thought we would do something different tonight because summer is coming up, and if you are looking for some great fashion tips, uh, yeah. Frank, is your, Frank is your guy. Now, I, I just got to call out myself. I've got a little beer going. I've got you know the jacket, so I look a little bit relaxed today. Uh, fun fact: I'm in a commercial right now, so I'm having to grow out the beard. There that's, you go. That's the I look so I have an excuse, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you're looking great. You're looking great. Thank uh, you. Talk a little bit about what you do and how you help uh, men. Yeah. So as mentioned, I'm a haberdasher. I work at a local men's clothing store in St. Paul called Milburn's. They've been around since 1946. And basically, we help people look their best while reaching their goals in life. That's the way I would put it. And as the year changes here in Minnesota, we get all four seasons. Most of the time, it's fall, winter. But when the weather does warm up and the world doesn't stop for different occasions, there are times where even though you need to dress up, summer tends to be a little more relaxed, as you put it, a little more relaxed, a little more casual. And also, too, that has to do with temperature, too, depending upon the region of the country or the world that you live in. And what I try to help people do is look. So for the summer, I kind of, uh, for a look today, I did some lighter colors. I did a professional look. I was running some errands earlier today, and this was one of them. And so I did kind of a lighter gray suit, gray suit, blue instead of white for the shirt, kind of a sun yellow for the tie, and did a little splash of the yellow and white with the pocket square, and even did some white and blue enamel cufflinks. So that was kind of a nice little touch. And what people think about uh, wool in general, they think hot and itchy. That couldn't be further from the truth. There's uh, wools that are flannel, which are heavier for fall, winter. Then there are what are called worsted wools and fresco wools, which is a lighter weave and it breathes. And that's meant for more of the spring and summer. And also, you know, the Kentucky Derby's coming up and other situations like that for summer. That's where you can break out the seersuckers and the cottons, the linens, that type of 
theosucker is cotton. It's basically broken down to milk and sugar. Uh, the ancient term of theosucker was theosucker, uh, sheer for uh, milk, sucker for sugar. So sheer sucker basically translates to milk and sugar, if I'm pronouncing that right. And what people don't understand is sheer sucker linen, it's meant to wrinkle. You're meant to look elegantly crumpled. That's a good way oh. to put it. Okay. And lighter colors, I express uh, brown and blue can look good on you. So tones uh, for jackets and pants in lighter blues, lighter browns, and you can mix it with brown accessories, uh, like a blue suit with a brown tie, that type of thing, or a lighter gray. Um, going very light in color, that would be in a situation where if you're going to a garden party or a lunch where you know you're not going to be in a dirty environment because every little thing will show. You know, think of Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby. He was in a controlled environment. Everything was clean and pristine, and he was in his white, you know, three-piece suit with gold tie and blue shirt. So, you know, right. typically, typically the history of the white suit, uh, it, you know, was a status symbol of the wealth because they had people to clean it for them and they were in a clean environment. So you don't have to necessarily go stark white, but you can do like sandstone or tan and still have that light color effect. Straw hats are another nice touch too. Now here in the Central Valley, it is about to get really, really hot. I mean, yeah. you know, into to June, July. So for our climate, what mm -hmm. suggestions do you have? Yeah. Pretty much what I was expressing, uh, light white fabrics like cottons, linens, uh, headgear to cover uh, your face from the sun's rays. Right. And two, with, with heat, depending upon the region, you get humidity as well. So here in Minnesota, we may not get up to 100 degrees in the summer, but 85 can feel like 95 when you throw the dew point in there. So that's another thing, too. You can do what's called the business casual look where you can do a sport coat without a tie or a suit without a tie. But whether you do a tie or not, I always recommend the pocket square. Uh, and that's something, just a nice little dash of color that just shows you pay attention to the details. For summer inspirational movies, um, the talented Mr. Ripley comes to mind. Uh, any of the great Gatsby movies come to mind. And there were two versions of Brideshead Revisited uh, that come to mind. And they were kind of set in the summer tone. And, uh, you know, if you want to do the white suit look, just remember you want to look more like Jay Gatsby and not Boss Hog. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Frank Morganti the third pleasure uh, seeing you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you for the advice. I would love for you to come on more times on my yes. TV Three News at 8.30. I, I'd be happy to. Just let me know when you want me on and I'll find the time. <laughs> Very good. All right, Frank, thanks again. Appreciate it. Happy summer. Take care. Happy summer.